Although many may have heard of the paired association test, few may know of its true creator. Mary Whitten Calkins was born on March 30, 1863, in Hartford, Connecticut. She was the eldest of five children. Her parents, Charlotte and Wolcott Calkins, moved the family, which included her three brothers and another sister, from Buffalo, New York, to Newton, Massachusetts, in 1888. During 1886, Calkins traveled to Europe with her family and spent several months in Greece studying the language of modern Greek. When she returned to the United States, Calkins took up a teaching position at Wellesley College, a college specifically for women, and remained there for the next three years. Although she was employed to teach a foreign language, her true interests lay in philosophy. With the creation of Once Lab in 1879, and the emergence of several early psychology labs in America, Wellesley College felt the need to follow suit and create their own psychology department. However, there was a shortage of qualified women to teach psychology. Calkins was recommended for the position by a professor in the philosophy department, which resulted in her securing the position, but with one catch. The president of the college required her to study psychology for a year. Calkins sought out Harvard University to fulfill this requirement, but was initially denied the opportunity to study, as she was a woman. Wellesley College submitted a petition for her admission, which finally granted her the opportunity to study psychology under William James. Upon graduation, she then returned to Wellesley College as an instructor for the course titled Psychology Approached from the Physiological Standpoint in 1891. However, she still sought out further education, and again asked for admission to Harvard University to study under Munsterberg. She received a letter stating that she could attend classes, but not as a registered student of the university. At the time, the president of Harvard University was opposed to the idea of women and men in the same classroom. Despite this, she accepted the offer and began to work under the discretion of Munsterberg while continuing to maintain her position at Wellesley College. While working with Munsterberg, Calkins invented paired associate learning in 1894. The concept underlying paired association learning is that a stimulus is paired with an object or a word in order to enhance recall. Here's an example. Try and remember as many pairs as you can. Let's try for some recall. When the stimulus is presented, try and remember the correct response item. Did you guess the correct response? Feel free to watch the training set again and try a second time. Culkin's discovery of paired association and memory function impressed Munsterberg so much that he wrote to the president of Harvard University requesting that Calkins be formally admitted for a PhD. Calkins was again denied the opportunity to be acknowledged for her efforts. Against the will of the university, an informal PhD examination was held in 1895 for Calkins. Her examination committee, which consisted of the highly established William James, unanimously decided that she should be awarded her PhD. Yet again, their request was denied. Despite inventing paired association learning, being the first woman president of the American Psychological Association in 1905, establishing the first psychology lab at Wellesley College, and later holding a position as a professor at Wellesley College, Harvard University refused to grant her any acknowledgement and continually denied her her doctoral degree multiple times over the course of her life. But this did not sway her ambition. She continued to persevere and contribute to the fields of psychology and philosophy until her death in 1930. It is this fact that makes her an influential figure in the quest for equality, even in today's society, and an inspiration for women in fields where they are repeatedly faced with a disadvantage. <laughs>